So here we have Sonic from 1, 2, 3, Mania, and this one who's sectioned off because he's bored. I'll start by saying these are all fine. I don't despise any of them. However, they all have some bad points and I certainly have a least favorite. Starting off with the first two, they're fairly similar. It's clear that Sonic 2 made some improvements to it. They made him shinier, bluer, uh, his eyes are different. They took a shade of red away, but pff, only an idiot would pay attention to a detail like that. So obviously he has very large pupils here, like some horrifying googly eye cartoon. I like to think it's based on some of the first sketches of Sonic where his eyes were more cute-ish I guess, I don't mind it. And he has no mouth. Man, that's gonna make it hard to eat. Oi, get back! The spikes are a little weird, the top one points back, the middle one curves down more, and then the bottom spike curves the same way as the middle which kind of makes it seem like it's pointing up. The bottom spike even goes past his neck and has caused the back spike to be absolutely huge and very low. If his arm wasn't there, I'm pretty sure it would look absolutely disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Speaking of arms, <laughs> his hands are tiny. Far too small for holding any sort of emerald. Anyway, moving on to Sonic 3. First off, oh, oh big changes. There's now only three shades of blue and they obviously thought Sonic needed to become a gorilla. Okay, it's not that bad. They fixed the issues I had with the spikes, but <laughs> the top one is the same, but they blunted the middle, and then the bottom curves down, but it's completely deformed. <laughs> I think Sonic needs to go to a &E. I don't think this could be classified as a spike anymore, guys. Holy sh**. And then... What? This back spike is on his neck? <laughs> I've only just noticed this. What the f*** is going on here? Well, I'll never be able to unsee that. Uh, they tried to fix his bug eyes, but it's now just an overshaded mess where his pupils are too close together and it all just looks too small in his head since the eyes are one pixel shorter. But he has a mouth! However, his mouth is incredibly low and it doesn't look like a smile or smirk. It actually looks like he's intensely annoyed at you. Yeah, that's right. The hands have changed size and oh yeah, they are massive. They look like boxing gloves. He's hard as nails, it ain't hard to tell. I can't say I'm a fan of the rounded shoes or how his socks go up at the back or how his front leg is now three pixels thick. There's a lot I don't like about it. But then again, I'm not the only one to look this closely at it, right? <laughs> Get back in line. <laughs> Mania's is quite similar to one and two, however, it's clearly superior and they sort it out as tiny hands. And then we get to my, uh, this one. And it's obviously the best. I can't see a single problem it didn't solve. I don't know who made it, but they must be a genius. Oh God. Oh God. Oh shit. Okay, okay, it's a bit unfair to count that, or Mania for that matter. If I had to pick a best and a worst from the first three, I will have to crown Sonic 3 as the worst and Sonic 2 as the best. I'm so proud, I'm so proud. And like I said, my opinion is fact, so I don't want to hear any arguments in the comments, okay? This is just how it is. Tune back in tomorrow for a 4 hour special where I analyse and compare Knuckles and Sonic 3 to Knuckles in Sonic and Knuckles.